welcome back to online class through our school youtube channel dear students in this video i would like to continue chapter number 1 historical background of commerce in the subcontinent the previous video we discussed what is barter system what are the constraint in the barter system and invention of money all we discussed the previous class let's we start the elimination of hindrance of commerce commerce business consists of all industries and commerce activity it serves to remove several hindrances and solve many problems while facilitating the product production and distribution of goods the various hindrances removed by business are as follows first one hindrance of person hindrance of place hindrance of time hindrance of risk of detraction in quality hindrance of risk of loss hindrance of knowledge hindrance of finance hindrance of developing the exact product hindrance of finance hindrance of both selection and delivery at store doorsteps so in this video we discuss about all the hindrances arises the business let's start first one hindrance of person manufacturers do not know the place and face of the consumers it is the retailer who knows the taste preference and location of the consumers the chain of middlemen consisting of wholesalers agent and retailer establishes the link between the producer and the ultimate consumers second one hindrance of place production take place in one center and consumers are spread throughout the country and world rail air sea and land transports bring the products to the place of consumers Manu manufacturers manufacturing the goods in one place but that product need around the world so that particular product must be distributed through various transportation so transportation eliminate that hindrance of place then hindrance of time this is very important one very important hindrance in the commerce consumers want product whenever they have money time and willing to buy but the producers manufacturer manufacturing the goods they huge or bulky manufacture by the manufacturer so must be that goods must be in a quality so they are stored in warehouses in different regional centers so that they can be distributed at the right time to the consumers the next topic is hindrance of risk of detraction in quality before i want to tell you that hindrance of risk of loss fire theft flood and accident may bring huge loss to the business this type of hindrance eliminated by the insurance company serve to cover the risk of such losses hindrance of risk of retrenchments in quality packaging the proper packaging and modern air conditions storage houses ensure that there there is no retrenchment in quality of product goods are protected against insect rats evaporation etc next hindrance is 
hindrance of finance every business need to have finance that finance come from various banks and financial institution if i am the manufacturer i need to start my business i need to protect uh, produce my new product i must purchase the raw material from various suppliers i need to transfer my finished goods throughout the world or throughout the country or throughout the state so i need the finance so producers and traders may not have the required fund at the time of their need bank and other financial institutions provide fund and help in transfer of fund to enable the functioning of business smoothly the next hindrance of knowledge advertising and communication helps in announcing the arrival of new product and their uses to the people the people or the consumers want to know the details of the product all details given by through the advertisement the next hindrance of exchange money function as a medium of exchange and enable the buying and selling of any product or services by payment of the right price then hindrance of developing the exact product if i need to change my product if i need to change my product based on the consumer's taste and preference i need to research my product so research and development comes in developing the exact product or services which can satisfy the specific want of consumers and thus improve the standard of living of the people the next hindrance of both selection and delivery at store steps we already discussed in the previous videos the technology driven society today the people are using if i if they want buy the product they can easily buy through online that is e-commerce this type of hindrance eliminated by e-commerce e-commerce enables the consumer to sell the product in the website place online order and make payment after receiving the product at the door steps e-commerce enables the commerce consumers to select the product in the website's place online order and make payment after receiving the product at the door steps so these are the hindrance elimination of hindrance of commerce every business have hindrance problems are there the problems the problems eliminated by the way of activity that is aids of trades these are all aids of trades insurance banking warehousing e-commerce advertising these are all aids of trade The remaining points we'll discuss next class. Thank you.